up next, it's a lightweight fight between one of the best fighters in the world today, Sean Shirk, and the fireball kid, Takanori Gomi. Takanori Gomi making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Gomi is one of the most successful Japanese mixed martial artists of all time. The first Pride lightweight champ, the 2005 Grand Prix champ. He has savage power in his hands, and we saw that in action during his knockout of the night against Tyson Griffin. Takanori Gomi, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. When Sean Shirk walks in the cage, he's bringing with him some scary power and endless cardio. He is a world-class wrestler with vicious ground and pound and a ton of experience and very solid submission skills. Sean Shirk, fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. This man is a former lightweight champion of pride. The Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a submission wrestler. He stands five feet six inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota. He is the former UFC lightweight champion, the Muscle Shark, Sean Shark. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen, ready? Takanori Gomi, ready? Sean Shirk. And here we Let's go! Fight. Sean Shirk has had great success in his career, taking people down and beating them up. But his boxing and his striking skills are greatly underrated. And Joe, we didn't see a lot of it at 170 because he was giving up so much reach. But he's got a great left hook. He puts together nice combinations. He can strike very, very well. Well, his work ethic is second to none, and his focus has been uh, a, a big part of it on his striking. And you really see those improvements, especially with his leg kicks and uh, his uh, tight boxing. Both guys staying in tight. This crowd is go big right hook, and now he's going to look for the finish. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. The crowd showing their support for the fireball kid, Takanori Gomi. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He dives in and delivers a huge shot. And another left hand. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Gomi is bleeding. Oh, another big shot. Oh. And another. Oh, he rocked him bad here, Mike. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. Boom. Oh, oh this oh. is all over. TKO victory. Sean Shirk with the victory. Here we see it one more time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. 
Declaring the winner by TKO, the Muscle Shot, Sean Shirk! Sean Shirk reigns supreme.